Francisco Giants, better late than never. They get one of their former best relievers and Tony Watson here in a deal with the Los Angeles Angels. So the Giants got Tony Watson for Sam Selman, even Armstrong, and Jose Marte. So three pitches they give up in the deal. But most of these guys are lower level guys and guys you probably won't see in the major leagues. And if you do, they won't have much of an impact on these guys. You're not going to give up three guys for a middle reliever who's 36 years old and a lefty. So on the season for Watson with the Angels, 33 innings, 25 hits, 17 earned runs, three homers given up, 14 walks, 25 strikeouts, 4.64 ERA, and a 1.18 whip. So obviously he didn't have a big season as Tony Watson. And right here, I think it's a great fit to him going back to San Francisco where he's played many seasons there throughout his career. And right now, he's going to be a good bridge guy in that bullpen, a lefty specialist to get to Jake McGee. So obviously, I don't think Watson's going to fight for saves for this Giant team. But this is definitely a move the Giants needed to make with the other teams in the division shoring things up. Obviously, the Dodgers getting Turner and Scherzer. We saw San Diego. They got Daniel Hudson which was a good move, and Adam Frazier, one of the best pure hitters in the league this season. So right here, San Francisco, they get their middle reliever, and they also got Chris Bryant, which was a big get for them. They needed another bat in this lineup. And this NL West, it's going to come through the NL West for whoever's going to the World Series this season, in my opinion, with three great teams. And obviously the Giants were surprised that Tony Watson, it's a good move for them. They didn't give up much in base of talent, even though it was three players. But those guys at best will be back into the rotation pitches or bullpen arms at, at the end of the bullpen as a mop-up guy or seventh-eighth man in the bullpen. So Tony Watson, he's back in the Bay Area in a good deal for the San Francisco Giants, who are obviously trying to go for it all and hold on to lead in first place.